Hello, Fruit Force. Once again, this is Captain Fruit reporting for duty, and today I'm going to be reviewing another issue of the Hulk, the Immortal Hulk number nine. And it's written by none other than the dickbag Al Ewing, you know, the guy that talks a lot of crap on Twitter. You know, once again, this proves that I believe in reviewing a comic honestly, because as you cannot, if you can't tell already, I don't care much for Al Ewing and how he treats the customers. But with that said, I'm going to review this comic honestly anyway. And Martin Simmons does pencils, inks, and colors. Uh, Joe Bennett also did pencils. And the reason it has two is this, this book is quite interesting. It actually has two different art styles. It has an art style depending on uh, what character it's going and discussing and, and telling the story about. First of all, I will say the cover of this book is quite good. I like this cover. It, you know, right away when I see it, I was like, why is Absorbing Man red? But it actually tells us that in the story, and we understand why. So let's see if these hard-earned dollars are worth it for this issue. It actually starts one month ago with Iron Man must have taken down Crusher Creel, the Absorbing Man. And then it's going to go from that month to the present time. It also shows the present time of the Hulk. And the Hulk was Bruce Banner. He was shot trying to get some clothes <laughs> from somebody at a trailer park. And he hulks out. We then cut back to Crusher Creel. And we see Creel is pretty much getting pounded because he got busted. And he's getting roughed up. We, we find out though. Uh, we cut back to the Hulk pages. And we find out that the Hulk didn't hurt this guy. He hurt, hurt the guy in the trailer park when he took his clothes. But the supposed guy from the cops, the police or whatever, which really wasn't, he piggybacked the, the 911 call to get the information, kills the trailer park guy, letting us know that whoever's after the Hulk really means serious business. Throughout the story then, we hear uh, these people talking to Absorbing Man and about enhancing him and making him better so he can combat the Hulk. Meanwhile, during this time, Hulk is going back to home. An interesting thing in the comic books is Hulk can always go home, if you will. But in this case, the home is going to be where the Gamma Bomb incident occurred. And Hulk's starting to get the idea maybe it isn't him that's making him go there. It's actually something else. So anyway, during this time, Crusher Creel is getting enhanced. Hulk is at the, the Gamma site. And that's where we're going to get a nice fight that ensues. Now, Crusher Creel has been uh, given more power. We don't know the extent of that power, but he can absorb gamma power, much like the Red Hulk could as well. So the fight ensues. And I want to mention it. It's, once again, it's the art switches styles based on which character the story is really portraying, which is an interesting concept. Normally, I don't like this kind of thing, but I think it works with this issue. I do like the artwork for the Hulk's side better, though. Anyway, so the fight ensues, and it appears things aren't going real great for the Hulk because the Absorbing Man is actually able now to absorb his radiation. But something else happens within that, which causes a, an anomaly as well with Crusher Creel, and things are looking pretty bleak. <laughs> if you look at the very last page here, it is absolutely horrific. It is pretty darn freaky. Now, once I've said it before, and I'll say it again. A good comic makes you go, okay, this is good. A bad comic you don't want to touch. A horrible comic you probably hit through the shredders like this issue here. Enough is enough. Now, if you didn't hit the shredders with that issue, and it was a really good issue, you might be raring to read that next issue, or even so much so you read that issue again before the next issue. Now, as I said before, I'm not a fan of valuing. I think he's quite the jerk to the consumers. Absolutely. But I have to give credit where credit's due. I did enjoy this comic. I find it interesting. Where is this going? It's a little different for your normal Hulk. It's a little bit more horror-based, as I said before, but I'm actually enjoying it. Once again, I'm trying to separate the writer from the work here, okay? Let me know in the comments. We, are you willing to check out the series? Are you, you won't touch anything because of Al Ewing? Do you like the series, or is this just not for you? All right, well, thank you for taking time to watch this video. If you did like it, please be sure to hit like, subscribe, hit that notifications bell. Give it a thumbs up and share this with others. I would greatly appreciate it. I can use all the help I can get. 
Also, if you want to help the channel, we could really also use this too. You can contribute to the Frugal Force for as little as a dollar a month with our Patreon, and that link is down below. That money is used to help me buy things like to review these comic books, as well as games, as well as hardware. And if I, when I can here and there, I'm also putting money towards my comic book. Currently, right now, though, I'm, I'm having to sidestep the money to get a new, a newer computer. My current computer just doesn't allow me to have enough processing power to do what I really want to do because I want to be able to do more interviews with independent creators and show a lot more of their work but mine's just not allowing me to do that with Streamlabs OBS like I want to so I'm saving up for that also if you want to help out it's the holiday season coming right we're here actually this is the holiday season you can go to captainfrugal.redbubble.com and you can get Captain Frugal shirts sweaters coffee mugs pillows uh, clocks, you name it, it's there. And some of the funds of that, any of the profits there, are going to the channel to help the channel out as well. And that would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, keep it frugal.